Good day, Travis here, and the awesome news of the year. <laughs> I, uh, I've been talking about this DU Refi Plus program with Fannie Mae and then Freddie Mac's uh, Home Refinance Opportunity Program for since the end of February when President Obama had spoke about these programs back in uh, Arizona, and then uh, the U.S. Tr Treasury had turned around and, and came out with a press release on March 4th, and we've been patiently waiting for these programs to hit the streets, and for DU, the desktop underwriting program for Fannie Mae, and LP, uh, the desktop or the underwriting program for uh, Freddie Mac to actually accept these loans and start giving out approvals. Well, we, we've been slammed all week. The, the time has come, like I mentioned in my last video, where we're able to run these deals through. We're getting approvals, we're getting appraisal waivers, we're getting limited documentation. We're, we're not even having to provide asset statements. Um, just in a lot of cases for W 2 employed people, we're just having to show their last pay stub and <laughs> with no appraisal. And it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty awesome really for for uh, us in, in this business as well as is more importantly you uh, the people that need these loans uh, to to be able to refinance their home if you had your value drop too much where before it was a penalty or you couldn't do it without mortgage insurance uh, this is just a great opportunity well through all this I remember uh, President Obama specifically speaking about that this program was not for real estate speculators and people that took chances that shouldn't have taken chances on the market maybe leveraging themselves too much getting these stated loans uh, for investment properties hoping the market would continue to grow and, and appreciate and he was not these, these programs were not meant to bail those people out well uh, the great news is is that they almost are in, in, in the people that are bought uh, investment properties responsibly and bought vacation homes responsibly and used loans that were not subprime or non-prime loans we are able to do those loans as well at the same interest rate as a primary residence. It's insane. I, I, you can tell I'm excited about it because I just realized this yesterday um, and I read through the guidelines like four places and four different times to make sure this was true and we actually ran one through one yesterday with, an appra with approval no appraisal and getting uh, they got 4.75 in APR I mean close to 5 on an investment property <laughs> so this is great news uh, so if you own an investment property or you know of someone that owns an investment property and they currently are in rates I mean recently when we've had clients buy an uh, investment properties there had there's really been no secondary market interest on investment homes because of the market tanking because of the the problems with housing and all the foreclosures and short sales going on the interest really has not been there in investment properties and so um, the, the rates have been high because of this and so we've had clients trying to buy down rates everything basically uh, priced out in the red or negative or at a cost on investment properties so rates have not been attractive at all for for home uh, uh, investment properties or rental properties for quite a while and even two years ago they were still about half percent above what you get on your primary residence well, the good news now is you can you can refinance your rental property, uh, obviously if your debt to income supports it, into a low rate at what you could get on your normal residence. There's a few caveats. Um, one, a lot of these people that a lot of people that bought investment properties the last few years bought them with risky loans, like a stated 100% program with nothing down, or um, the Neg Am uh, loan, the negative amortization loan, pay option arm, whatever Countrywide called it, um, and uh, and uh, they used a stated program so you still have to qualify you still have to have income that supports that rental property but for those of all of you that have bought normal homes even if it wasn't a gam loan and your income supports going forward and the rent you have in it we just turn into rental agreement supports uh, the loan you're gonna get a rate that is the same as you would on your home in the four percent upper four percent range so that's just really exciting that, that affects so many people it's gonna help so many people cash flow on their rental properties a lot of people here in the Oregon Northwest area bought rental properties and they didn't cash flow. They were at a hundred or two hundred dollar a month loss just simply with the idea that appreciation over time and the depreciation they could claim on their taxes would make help it make sense to own a rental property even though it didn't cash flow and even though it was a basically a monthly loss on the check they wrote. Now if you are able to refinance your rental property into these low rates, you're being able to cash flow, market's gonna come back, you have appreciation, you'll still have a depreciation on your taxes. It's just a win win. So I'm really excited for all my my clients that are uh, real estate um, investors outside of their primary residence, obviously this applies uh, to your primary residence and also good news, it applies to your vacation homes. So, so those of you that have vacation homes, uh, you can refinance in these, these programs as, as well. Here's a few caveats. One, 
it has to go from an investment property to an investment property. So if you had it initially, the loan was initially an investment property loan, and for some reason you've sold your primary and you moved into your investment property, you can't switch those around. I mean, so it sounds kind of, kind of convoluted there, but basically it has to be from a non-owner or investment property to an investment property. If it's a vacation home now and was a vacation home loan, it has to continue to be a vacation home loan, um, and primary residence, primary residence. Uh, also, they have to, if it with Fannie Mae, they have to go back to Fannie Mae. If it's backed by Freddie Mac, it has to go back to Freddie Mac. And if you're unfortunately were one that bought an investment property with a subprime loan, most likely uh, neither of those agencies have it, and so you're not going to be able to participate in the program as of now. But for those of you that had a conforming 30-year fixed on a rental property for the last five years, I would definitely jump on this opportunity. So that's the great news. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions. We'd love to help, or just contact your uh, your local mortgage professional that you work with and uh, get in on this because this is some good stuff. Have a great Saturday and be blessed.